of North America for fracking and unlimited digging into our forests. It's about to become law. Thank you, Uncle Sam. <laughs> you know, years ago, slavery used to be okay in this country, too. And people said, what can I do? And one by one, they started standing up and saying, we're not going to stand for this. Every person counts. Well, what about every tree counting? What about every species counting? What if we all stood together and said, we're not going to do this anymore. We're not going to take this anymore. And it starts with education, 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 education. We have to share the word of what's going on right now. And it has to happen in industrial wealthy countries and it has to happen in poor countries where they don't necessarily know what they're doing and the ramifications that it has. Not an easy answer, but it's where to start. Why do I have to live in a forest when you get to live in a big city? I could carve down my forest. I could build a city right here and not have to move. I can't answer that. Okay. So, somebody who doesn't have a lot, mm -hmm. has almost nothing, a homeless person. How can the meekest of people who come from very humble beginnings, who usually give the most, how can they help? And how can that 1% get off their chair and help? One of the ways I think would be helpful is to support really great organizations that are doing conscious work. I would say the World Wildlife Fund Foundation, the World, the WWF, I, that didn't come out very well. Uh, support organizations that are doing really great conscious work, the WWF, World Wildlife Fund. Uh, get out and see if there's something you can do every day that might be a little less comfortable but that would help in the long run. So in other words, using less water, using less gas, looking to see if something you're buying is local instead of being made overseas in a way that may not be conscious. Worst case scenario, maybe they are right about this global warming thing. And the sea level does raise by 250 feet and it wipes out every island nation by bye bye, bye bye Los Angeles. At what is the tipping point where people should maybe think that they should do something? Where's the tipping point? Have we reached it? Have we passed it? Where's the tipping point? We're pretty funny as humans, you know? A lot of times we don't like to do anything until it gets really uncomfortable. And until it gets to that point, we're probably not going to do much as a mass movement. What can I say? Unless you're uncomfortable, you may just sit back on your hunches and say, everything's fine, it's gonna be okay. We had the hottest summer on record worldwide this last year. You think that's gonna get any better, folks? Not really. So, it's getting hotter. The world is ending. Let's just have a big party. <laughs> Let's party like it's 1999. Let's just party the way out. Burn it down. Burn it down the house. <sighs> Okay, that's not a world that I want to be a part of. Which world? <laughs> a world that has its head in the sand doesn't appeal to me. It just doesn't appeal to me. So what's the world you envision for you, your friends, your family, and the world at large? Differences, similarities, or otherwise? It sounds so elitist, but wouldn't it be nice if we could all just be a little more aware? If we could all just ask ourselves every day, what can I do? What can I do today in one small step that might have ripples that would affect everybody else on this planet in a positive way? Not yeah, a lot to ask. What if my religion tells me not to get along with you, or my government tells me not to get along with you, and I need the trees from my government, my religion? Then I'm appealing to those people that don't have issues with their religion and their government to do something about it. And if you do have issues with your religion and your government, you, you can still, it? you can always still ask yourself, what can I do to help make this world a better place? What can I do to help make my family's life a little better? If you can only think within your family parameters or your life as you know it, great. Do something to help that make a big difference in the world. I got the kids, I got school, I got, oh, I got no time, I got no time to help with this. You guys fix it. I think the only way this problem is going to find a solution is if we all come together and take one step at a time. And there's always time for one step. I didn't create the mess, I'm just a spectator here. Can't you save me? Can't you guys save me? <laughs>
You're killing me, Kurt. I know. I'm just throwing the cues. I want to see the response. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have some great <laughs> outtakes for sure. Is there anything we haven't touched on that you did research on or personal stories of how it's affected you from any treatments or procedures, family members, how it may have saved someone's life from treatments from the rainforest or things found like that violet that was found a year ago in the rainforest that's now a cure for my fucking rich for, uh, for leukemia. Um, things like that. Do you have any personal stories like that you can share or feel comfortable sharing about I don't have any stories about how my life was saved by the rainforest in a physical, tangible way, but I will say that I had the great pleasure of going to two different rainforests in the world two separate times, and on both occasions, I was not prepared for the mind-altering effect that the forest had for me. In other words, it's teeming with life and it helped me come alive. It was so magical. Whether it was night or day, 24-7, there's always things moving and breathing and showing up to show off how fabulous they are. It is a magical environment and there's nothing like it anywhere else on this planet. To see it destroyed at the rate that it's going, it's heartbreaking. And if you haven't been there, take it from one of us Life as we know it will not be the same without these amazing places teeming with life. You just made my day. Thank you. You're welcome. That was very beautiful. Anything else you want to share? It's heartfelt. That's what I'm looking for. You know, that's what this movie is about. Oh, thanks. That's what this movie is about. Real people I saying the real you. thing. Is there saying anything else you want to share? Mm -hmm. Parting thought. Inspiration to others. Tie your shoes, buckle up, and play. <laughs> Will I see you soon? Hope you feel better. Yeah. Will I see you soon, I hope. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, I feel well, like I'm going to have to start saying, would you talk to DM? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.